All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about mounting this Solark on the wall, and I've got it upside down out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and show you. When you take the mounting bracket and you install the mounting bracket, that this is that flange at the top of the Solark that it hangs on. So that the main mounting bracket, these holes are 28 and 3 8 inches to the top of this. And you're going to want six inches of clearance with the underneath of the solar arc to wherever it's mounted on. So once you have your six inches marked out on okay. the wall, you want to pull 28 and 3 8 up from that, which is 34 and 3 8 And that is where you're going to mount your bracket. There are six one and a half inch knockouts. So you want to get one and a half inch EMT TAs and there's six knockouts on the bottom of the solar arc. On the 15K, you're gonna to wanna to find the exact center. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, this little screw here on the bottom is dang close to the exact center. You can use that as a reference point, but you might wanna check every time. Uh, and you can, we use this template. This thing is really heavy duty. This got this from Practical Preppers. You can buy one of these. If you're going to be doing a lot of them, this this handles handles uh, the truck very well. Or you can get some heavy duty paper or poster board, and you can make a template fairly easily. Uh, just make sure that you mind this because the Solark does sit off the wall, right? This is not this this back surface right here sits off the wall, so you need to keep track of this because the actual plane of the wall is right there. You want to make sure you find the exact center and transfer it up to the middle of the solar, which we've already done right there. Now I like to, I like this one goes in diagonal Antonio. I like to use a drill if I really want to feel a screw. You can feel how, how tight it's getting. You need to run that one in like that. Okay, yeah, just run it in diagonally. And you can really feel it tighten down. And you hope there's not a wire there, right? Just kidding. We're using pretty big, big, we're using lags too. So I'm, I'm usually gonna use a structural lag or a ton of cabinet screws. Today's lag of choice is a Spax outdoor rated and boom that's in there as you can see we've got it right in the middle and then so if this harbor freight bit this little half inch hercules hole saw can cut all these holes again she will have paid for herself twice she's already paid for herself once so the next thing you're going to do is cut your holes in your wire way if you have a wire way if you don't you need to get one i can give it i can get it for you but you're going to cut all your holes in your wire way and the quickest way to do that is with these impact rated thin hole saws well we're trying out a harbor freight one right now but these are the ones i've been using over and over again the only one you really need is the seven eighths you get them from home depot there is a third way to get these holes we call it the way of the dumb <laughs> And that's, go ahead and just pick the solar arc up and set it on the wire way and trace the holes, but the holes cut already. So you're going to have to make a lot of holes in metal for different sizes on your solar project. And I don't think you need one of these thousand dollar punches. I use this thing for over and over again. I've used it for years, but on the solar arc project, you're definitely going to need to make some different sizes. And the hundred dollar hydraulic knockout punch from Harbor Freight works great. Now if the solar arc is going to sit six inches off the wire way. I'm gonna cut all these, these nipples at probably five and three quarters. There's a little bit of play on the fitting and you're gonna want that because nothing's ever gonna be perfect. You're gonna want that little bit of play. There's a little bit of play on these fittings. So you can slide it. Now you don't, you, you, you've gotta make sure it's still, both of these set screws engage the conduit. But you can still move it just a little bit. And you want that, so you want that adjustability. So I always 
go just a little short on my nipples so it all fits at the end. The bandsaw is an indispensable tool if you're gonna be doing this kind of work. You could do it with a sawzall and a metal cutting blade, but you just can't beat these bandsaws. Okay, so now once you've cut all of your pieces, you gotta clean them. You wanna ream them. I think this is the most important part. You ream them. And this is my favorite tool, by the way, the reamer. Put your finger on them. If it won't cut your finger, it won't cut a wire. And then for this outside edge, and my top choice for reaming the outside is the Knipex water pump pliers. They're almost sharp in the jaws. Just really nice steel. And you just do that so you don't cut yourself or hurt yourself when you're playing with this metal you can also just if you want to just ream everything do that right there but i just love the reamer that works this is how you're going to be when you're just about to set the solar arc on the wall so antonio's way over there getting ready so if the mounting bracket is too low or off center, that's the worst possible thing that can happen when you're hanging the solar arc. So double check those measurements before you do it, guys. All your nipples are reamed and in place, but they're not tight. There's still movement. And this is important because you may need to adjust it up and down a little bit. And as long as these two screws are hitting the pipe, if it's like that, and you can see the screw, it's no bueno. But as long as that's there, you're good. So it's nice to have a little bit of play and a little bit of movement there. <laughs> so if this video has helped you and you're thinking about buying a Solark or you want consulting uh, to talk you through beginning your project, please feel free to contact me through this uh, channel. My contact information is at the beginning of the video. And I can talk you through the install, sell you the inverter. If you buy an inverter from me or a ground mount or solar panels, uh, all the consulting and technical support is free. So please like and subscribe. And if you're thinking about doing a solar arc project, don't hesitate to get in contact with me. Thanks for watching. Boom. You can slide these up if you need to. And there she sits. And that is how you mount the solar arc on the wireway.